What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael. Tuesday morning, getting his walk done as usual. A little topic for discussion, guys. Now, please excuse me. I am no Morgan Freeman. I'm no great, you know, speaker. I I have a hard time keeping on track, and uh, I don't have just the most amazing, beautiful speaking voice and way about me but we need to touch on a subject today and that is the subject of squats and the misinformation that is out there about squats and what constitutes a squat a squat technically is anything that breaks the knee not literally breaks it, but where you bend the knee at all, you're squatting. There is a point A all the way to a point Z, and then back to an A with every movement. It don't matter if it's squats, bench pressing, shoulder pressing, curls, tricep extensions. I don't care what it is, bent rows, doing whatever you do. There are more stopping points than just A to Z and then back to A. When you do a squat, the common misconception is you have to break parallel or you have to go A to G, you know, butt to grass. I don't want to cuss, but you get the word. Not a donkey, not a burro but like a, a jackass to ground, to grass. You know, you know what I'm saying. See, I'm not Morgan Freeman. I can't do this. Anyway, that is a huge, huge problem because there are more stops along the way than just top to bottom and back up. There's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And then back to A. That is a squat. Anywhere within your legs, range of motion. Now, if you're going to be competing in a squat, lift, movement, competition, you are going to have rules and regulations on that squat. You will have to break parallel or go ATG. In your competitions, that's what you have to do because that's what they want. Now what's happened is that has bled over into just the whole existence of a squat like that's all a squat constitutes or consists of I should say you have to go break parallel or go A to G there's nothing else it's like anything else in between those two in between there is garbage it's like you either do it this way or no way that's wrong that's misinformation and that spread like wildfire out there in the fitness community. And you got people from the greats to the weekend warriors to the everyday warriors like myself to people who don't even work out that spread this misinformation as if though it's truth. And the only way to do a squat. See, Morgan Freeman wouldn't be wiping his nose on camera. I can't narrate. I feel like I got a boogie too. Can we cut the camera? Son of a... So just remember, when you're telling someone to not squat, if you can't break parallel or go A to G, don't squat. You don't, you're wasting your time. Don't squat. You're telling me, if you go look at my squat videos, that just because I'm not breaking parallel, sometimes I can't even get parallel. You're telling me I'm not... I'm not activating muscles whatsoever in my body, in my legs, at all. You're telling me that. 
No, what that's telling me is I couldn't, I couldn't be in a squat competition because I would get a red light. That's what that tells me. But do you know the amount of muscles that you activate in your body just by taking the bar off the J hooks or whatever hooks you got them, your bar on? You know that you are instantly engaging all your supportive muscles, all your stabilizers, your torso, everything. You are activating every muscle from your neck down to your toenails. And that's before you even bend your knees at all. So you are activating and literally working out your whole body just by taking that weight off the rack. You need to think about that. Anyway, does this video need to go viral? Probably not. Someone who can say it better should probably do the video. I'm just a everyday fella giving his everyday thoughts to his everyday horrible delivery. This goes with the same as bench pressing, shoulder pressing, curling, deadlifts, everything. Every movement has multiple stopping points, multiple beginning points even. There's the top part of the movement, and the middle part of the movement, and the bottom part of the movement. And utilizing all of those points can help in your lifts, can help in strength, can help in you know, your mobility, it can help in all sorts of things. And speaking of mobility, some people, me, have horrible mobility. Okay? Some of us have problems. I have a chronic bad back that feels broken every day. But Mike, how do you work out? Those weights you move are just astronomical. They're amazing. You're the strongest guy on the planet. i never seen it. You ain't got a back problem. Yeah, I do. And my back feels like it's out every single day. See, I'm getting off track. But kind of, sort of not. My back is out every day. I can blink wrong and my back is completely out for a week. Or I can deadlift 400 pounds and not have a problem. You got to think of your range of motion. You got to think of who you're talking to. Also, when it comes to doing certain movements. Everybody has problems. Everybody has some sort of mobility issue. Not everybody. A lot of people. But trying to pigeonhole a movement by putting these little rules on it, it ruins the workout for some people and it ruins their idea and it ruins their you know notion it, it can deter them and their workouts as well well I'm not able to go break parallel or A to G so gee maybe I shouldn't squat no you should squat and you should do the best you can that's the thing do the best you can do not the best the other guy can do you're spreading misinformation. You're doing the fitness industry and everyone out there a disservice whenever you spread the wrong information. Now this video ain't gonna go nowhere. Just like none of my videos go nowhere. I don't even have 600 subscribers. I'm looking for 10 million. 10 million subscribers, then I'd get heard. Then I'd be a big old force on the internet. Like Darth Vader kind of force. I'm no Morgan Freeman. Anyway, guys, this is just kind of something that needs to be put out there. And for someone who can really relay the message and do your own video and narrate it correctly, do it. Someone who has a force, somebody who has a voice out there who's going to get heard. You need to make a video discussing 
the incorrect information that's being spread about the squat. And that's one of the worst, that's one of the things I see people talk about the most is the squat. Or a curl, heaven forbid you move your body whatsoever when you do a curl. You know, because standing still curling 150 pounds is totally normal. Like that's not gonna kill your back. And as I've discussed with that, buildings move, trees move, bridges, buildings, all that stuff, they all move. Why? So they don't break apart. So they don't damage. Your body is the same way, you're supposed to move. Stop holding so still. Especially when you got a bad freaking back. Trying to hold yourself still enough and not move to appease the sheep. It's not fun. And I don't do it. I'm going to move. Listen, guys. Any movement at all is a good movement. I don't care if you barely even bend your knees. Like, <laughs> just whoop. Ooh, there you go. That's a squat. Who cares? You moved. You activated some muscle. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Pat people on the back because everybody's on a different journey. Not everybody's on the same journey. Not everybody's drinking from the same Kool-Aid. I know I'm not. I do my own thing. I'm going to always do my own thing. And I suggest you do the same thing and stop listening to all these idiots out there. But Mike, what makes you a qualified idiot? I've always been a qualified idiot my whole life. I'm someone who, who's more freestyle, who's more free form, who's more do your own thing and quit following the herd. That's me. I've always been that way. Telling someone that they're doing something wrong, working out, is like telling somebody you're drawing wrong, you're painting wrong, your photography is wrong, you're you're doing this wrong. You're do Some things are just not wrong. It's just different. You have a different way of looking at it. So guys, that's kind of my second message today. This is my second little walk and talk from this walk today. Spread the message, guys. Make your own videos. Share this one. I don't care. It needs to be heard by all the greats, all the legends, all the way to the people who actually don't work out but still like to comment. Everyone needs to hear this. Do the best you can. Make yourself happy. It's your journey. Unless you're competing, it's your journey. Don't let anyone else dictate what's right and wrong. Unless you're wearing thick-soled shoes to do deadlifts or squats. Now that is just wrong. Guys, found something helpful, something useful here. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff. To the body beat down, that's me. You're real, amazing, natural. Super awesome host. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you later. Oh my God. Michael, you're not walking correct. Oh my God, your form is off. Oh my God, you might as well not even walk if that's how you're going to walk. Oh my God. <laughs> get up, get out, get red, and do 